Good morning to all of you. We want to say welcome to the headquarters of the Liberian National Police. As usual, we will take our time to brief you about the unfoldings or achievements of our administration. And so today we've called you to brief you on some very important developments that we've uh, achieved from the Liberian National Police. Today's press conference is going to be addressed by Inspector General of Police, Honorable Gregor Woko. So at this juncture, the podium is now turned over to our Inspector General. Honorable Inspector General Good morning to all. Morning, sir. As we uh, promised that every now and then we will keep the public informed as it is our duty. We've been able to keep the lines open and convey a lot of information to the media, uh, just not uh, through this media, but through the Office of the Press and Public Affairs and our availability to anyone who's able to reach us by to be able to answer whatever issues there are. Today we've just compiled a few pieces of uh, key uh, information that we would, I would like to officially release to the public because there are concerns surrounding these things. And we're duty bound as law enforcement practitioners to communicate and relate to the people we serve. We have no, du no other duty but to continue to serve the people and if they have questions, we must answer. Uh, as it relates to the uh, issue in Kinjo, which is one of the, uh, the, the pressing matters at hand, this the, the investigation from uh, it's in three is in two different components. One has to do with the uh, criminal investigation, and the other has to do with the officer-involved shooting. We are most concerned with the officers-involved shooting because it resulted into uh, bodily injuries and death of three of our citizens. So immediately we constituted the team. The team went in there spoke with all of the officers, spoke with residents of the community, and they compiled a report, and that report has been forwarded to the Ministry of Justice. We, uh, we, have, we have recommended in that report that the Minister of Justice forwards the report for uh, further proof to the Civilian Oversight Complaint Board, uh, which has civil oversight of the, the, the Labour National Police, just to increase our level of accountability. We are a party to this particular investigation, even though we are the official body responsible for investigation in the country, but we are now delegating our responsibility to the civil oversight body for a second review before it is even, if the findings are even released to the public. Because anybody could say, oh, this is all the police, they investigating themselves and stuff like that. So let, let it go over. And on our board, we have the, uh, the, the bar association, you have the Association of Law Enforcement Professionals here. You have the uh, Independent Human Rights Commission. You have the Federation of Liberian uh, Youth. And uh, so many other uh, uh, reliable uh, uh, organizations that's a part of that of, of that board. So the, the uh, report is at the Ministry of Justice pending forwarding to the, uh, to the, the uh, Civil Oversight Complaint Board. In addition to that, so I, I won't I won't go any further because I mean until they can look at it and give us the full they give us a full a final report, I think we want we want to leave it at that. But for our part, at least it is concluded. And then come growing out of that, there are some recommendations here within the police that we will be implementing because we realize that uh, the the use of force policy is something that has to be that officers have to do continuous training for. So part of our recommendation is that, I mean, on a yearly basis, that officers will go through the, the use of force training, and that even the existing use of force policy that we have here will also be recommended that it also be reviewed, and uh, that it be uh, amended to include different levels of escalations when you have, when you're dealing with, with conflicts. We, uh, we are also, uh, engaging with the government, asking them to uh, compensate the families and uh, make arrangements for the, the, uh, the remains to be buried. So that's where we are with the Kindle issue. We have uh, open lines with members of the community 
I know that there are concerns. They're waiting to hear feedback from the interministerial uh, committee that, that visited King George and listened to their recommendation. The major thing that they have been calling for, it was immediately addressed on that day, but there are other counts that uh, they, they're still waiting for feedback. So we may follow up with the, with the committee and I think through the uh, legislature, we will be reaching out to them so as to avoid any for, uh, uh, further escalation in that area. I will also like to use this medium to reach out to the community once again to sympathize with them and apologize for whatever uh, transpired. However, I will ask that, that they kindly remain as peaceful as they've been. We understand their concerns, we, uh, we hear them, and our government is doing everything to address it. We, we ask that they uh, please, please remain within the confines of the law and just give it a little more time so that it can be properly addressed. Some of these things, they, it, it's been long standing, so it takes a lot of time to be able to go into it to provide a lasting solution. So we're appealing to them to please, uh, please uh, uh, just hold their piece of it. They've done it for uh, for Uwa a few more days to get it addressed. I, I don't think uh, it, it would be a, a bad idea. So this is my appeal to our dear community. Um, Growing out of that, we also realize that uh, in, within the LMP, there has to be, uh, we have to set up our own uh, use of force coordination team. As such, we've brought in a, a, a long experienced law enforcement expert, Liberian Bays, who have been serving uh, outside of the country. Our, our, our act creating the LMP allows us to bring in uh, law enforcement professionals who have gone through training at a, a similar level at the Labour National uh, uh, Police Training Academy or higher. So we've hired Mr. Juan Cooper to serve in that capacity to help us with uh, our use of force uh, issues. On the 21st of April, I, uh, this, well, let, let's keep that, let's keep that for later. I think we should deal with all of the other, the other issues here first. And, Part of our commitment, I know we did inform you all that we are set up a cold case file uh, unit to look into issues surrounding uh, concerns that people had over the years that were not properly addressed. And it's, I mean, I, I, I'm complaining, I'm thinking they're too slow, but these things will take a lot of time for us to be able to, if we want to have a proper closure to some of these issues, we need to be extremely methodical. So I'm complaining that you guys are slow, but they, 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 you're assuring me that, Chief, we're doing everything we can to make sure that these things are being addressed properly. So, so in some cases, it's not, it is not uh, just of you coming in to say that every, something was wrong about it, and you must find something wrong with it. So they've been very, very careful as to how they proceed. However, we, we've, we've come to a closure on the firearm issue. Uh, in that the, the, the importation of, of, of illegal firearms that I think it was some uh, in uh, that had been what two weeks two years ago uh, and that particular that particular matter has been closed we have we have charged su suspect Barbara Deva and Ezekiel Tama for the crimes of uh, criminal conspiracy criminal facilitation smuggling eating consumption of, of uh, in consumption of crime, supplying firearms, destructive devices, and ammunition for criminal activities to ineligible persons, and possession and seal of physical objects for lethal use. Also charged in essential is Mr. Boyd uh, Benjamin Baker, who we could not uh, get because I think he's in the, the U.S. according to the investigation. We also established that there was inappropriate action taken by some of our officers. These and some of the, the issues there border on criminality. So all of these officers, according to our own processes and procedures, eight of them have been forwarded to the professional standard division for further probe based on their actions carried out during the search and seizure uh, of these weapons. When they be, uh, if and when. The professional still establishes criminality with, with, the, uh, with these officers that have been turned over. 
it will be forwarded back to the, to the crime services department and prosecuted, uh, 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 investigated, charged and prosecuted as well. So that is that is ongoing. They've, they've already interdicted it, and we're going to wait for the professional standard to send their report.